guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on this makeup brush kit that was $7.99, I think. It was on Amazon.com. Originally, I think it's $30. Then they lowered it to 10 Then they were having a flash sale for $7.99. And, you know, I had to get it. Because $7.99 for any brush set, especially with how many brushes and items this thing came with, I definitely had to try it out. Because it not only comes with brushes, it comes with a, a generic beauty blender and a brush cleanser. So I'm going to just take out all the products. It also comes with a little uh, kind of paper letting you know which brushes are for what um the brand is i think it's beaky that's how you pronounce it yeah beaky b-a-k-e-y so it comes with 10 brushes five face brushes and five eyeshadow brushes which are awesome so let me just show you guys the five face brushes like this and just by touching them, they're pretty soft. I don't know if that's going to translate. Okay, so the first brush is a powder blush brush, which is basically this pointed brush right here. This pointed brush. It kind of reminds me of two brushes that I have, like the shape. I have a Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush. Um, kind of has the same dome shape or my Morphe AS11. Just the shape kind of reminds me of it. Um, the next brush is, let's see, Preci Precision Face Brush. Um, so it's kind of like this, just with a little slant on it. Um, this one is supposed to be for liquid or cream products to flat areas of the face. The powder blush brush is for placement of concealer in harder areas to reach such as the nose and the eyes. Let's move on. Then we have the face powder brush, which is similar to this one in the sense that they're slanted. But this one is just a bit more fluffier. This is blend mineral products onto the skin, so I guess for powder. The last two, I have a blush brush, buff cream blush or bronzer onto the skin. So this one is just a bit more fluffy as well. And the last one is a flat top buffing foundation brush. So I love buffing brushes to get product onto the skin. To buff product onto the skin, I usually use my Real Techniques buffing brush. You just put them side by side. Um, just off the top, I think that the Real Techniques brush is a little denser than this one. This one is a bit more flimsy, so I would be interested in seeing how this applies product onto the face. So these are the five brushes for the eyes. And none of the brushes have names or numbers. They're just, you know, plain generic black brushes with the middle things um they're pretty stuck on there so you know i don't think these you know will fall off well hopefully i hope they don't fall off um so these are how they look it says one is the eyeshadow brush angle flat top shadow brush flat top shadow brush blooming brush detail powder brush and a blooming brush so it's going to be hard to let you guys know which brush is which just because they're so similar but um, this one off the top, I can already know this is the uh, flat top eyeshadow brush. Um, so yeah, this one is a pointier brush. I would probably use this to get product in the inner corner of my eye or even on my waterline. Um, this one and this one, they have, they are at an angle. So I guess this could be good for crease area. This one is just a smaller version of this one. And this one is just more of a blending brush because it's just a little more fluffy. Um, and yeah. So after the brushes, they have a pink beauty blender or, you know, a beauty sponge. It's actually pretty soft and it feels similar to 
So my my beauty blender, it's actually kind of dirty, but this is the, um, the real beauty blender, and this is the pink one. Um, just by touching it, the pink one feels a little softer. Again, I don't know if this means that it's going to apply the product good, how much product is it going to absorb. Um, that's what I'm interested in knowing, but it feels pretty soft. And the last product in the bag is this. So basically, this is something that you put on your fingers when you want to wash your brush, wet the brushes, put soap on them, and then you scrub them like this. So I'm just going to be using MAC Frost Wing. So this is how the eyeshadow looks. I'm just going to use any one of these brushes. Um, hmm. I'll use this one. What the heck? Okay, so just off the bat, this brush is not good for applying eyeshadow because it's just so flimsy. I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush just to pack the product in and I'll use the other brushes to blend. Okay, so that is on there. I'm going to be putting MAC. This is, it's snowing, it's another Kind of holiday, I guess, limited edition eyeshadow. Looks. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a frosted white color. I'm going to go in with MAC Mulch. Velvet eyeshadow. I'm going to put that. I'm going to be using this brush right here. Now I'm just going to blend these eyeshadows together a little bit. I'm going to be using a color from my Anastasia Beverly Hustamana palette. I'm going to be using Bengal. Again, this is just a very simple eyeshadow look. I'm not, you know, being too perfect. I really just want to see how the brushes work. Um, I like this brush as well because although it is fluffy, it is dense, if that makes any sense. It's fluffy, but not so fluffy that it spreads the product everywhere. Um, so I like this if I want to blend the product, but I don't want to blend it too much. I'm going to be using this flat angled brush again. Back into my the Mana palette and I'm gonna use a little bit of black. I'm always scared to use black because I don't want to end up looking like a panda. But I'm literally just going to use this eyeshadow right here. It's called Nor. It's a little boop. That's it. That's the only product I'm going to use. Just to darken up the corners a bit. Oh my god, you already see how much product that okay. Okay, we can fix this. Okay, let me blend for my life now. So first impressions on these brushes, I actually do like them. I think that they are good quality. If I compare these to like just my regular Coastal Sense brushes that I buy for blending, I don't really buy expensive products for my eyes just because I feel like, you know, as long as it does... A decent good job I mean I'm okay with it and they feel very fluffy in terms of shedding I don't you know just by plucking them they don't shed but all synthetic brushes eventually are going to shed I'm assuming especially after you wash them a few times I really like this brush the pointed brush it really gets product into there I'm actually going to apply some mascara some lashes off camera and I will be right back okay guys so I have some uh, I put a little mascara, my eyelashes, and a little bit of eyeliner to blend the lashes. So now I'm going to move on to the face. I'm going to prime my face with the Laura Mercier foundation primer. And I'm going to put that uh, all over my face. The foundation I'm going to be using, it is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in Golden Caramel. Okay, so I wet the beauty sponge and holy crap, this got so fat when I um, wet it. It might have a little bit of liquid, but um, yeah. Let me just try to squeeze it a little more and I'm going to be applying half of the foundation with this sponge. I have some makeup here and I'm just going to dab it on and blend it. So 
half of my face is blended with the foundation. You can kind of clearly see. The reason that this is much lighter than my forehead is because my body is uh, lighter than my face. So when I wear foundation, I pick a lighter foundation and I match it to my neck because if I match it to my face, my face is gonna be very dark and my body very light, which is how it is naturally. So as you can see, um, it did apply the foundation evenly. Um, let me just show you the sponge. It absorbed some of the product. I feel like for some reason my foundation is a bit more sheer when I use this sponge. Um, I don't know um, if you guys think that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but I'm a type of person, I don't like full coverage foundation anyways just because um, you know I like my skin to shine through so I'm not mad at it I guess for people who want an applicator that can leave the foundation full coverage um, hmm, I don't know maybe you guys can try it out and see what you guys think about it but I I don't hate it I'm gonna be honest I really don't hate it I don't know if you guys can see a difference with the you know no foundation foundation I'm going to be applying the other half on this side and use the bucket brush the brush applied the foundation um i might be a little biased just because i always use a beauty blender if i ever use foundation i feel like it's quicker it blends the product more seamlessly but um it didn't do a bad job i will say that it's not as dense as i hope a buffing brush to be um like i said when i do like to buff, to buff product if i do use a brush i use the real techniques and this one i feel like is much more dense uh, with this one, I felt like the product moved around a little bit more than I liked, especially under here um, and around my nose, but it got the job done. And again, for the price point, I feel like I can't really complain that much. If this was like a, a $15 brush or something, then I might be like, oh, okay, you know, I might have, I might be, might be a little bit more critical um, and, you know, but I feel like, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference on camera with the application. One thing I noticed is that I felt like, just looking at myself, I felt like this side of my face looks like I have less product. Um, I don't know if it's the lighting in my room, but you guys can let me know if you see a difference with the two sides. So now I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. For the concealer, I'm gonna be using this pointed, uh, let me see what it says, it says this is a pointed, no, it says a powder blush brush for exact placement of concealer in harder to reach areas such as around the eyes and nose. I'm going to just be using this for concealer under my eyes. I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Biscuit. And uh, just to highlight a little bit more, my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in 25 Medium. Because this is such a fat beauty blender in, uh, in, in comparison to the original, it was kind of hard to get in the corners. I love the you know original beauty blender just because even when it's wet, I can really squeeze it and get in the corners. As opposed to this one, it is just it has a point, but it's so fat, it's very hard to get right in there. Um, but it did blend out the product pretty quickly with this one. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a brush person. The brush is a bit hard on the face I guess to blend I feel like I have to like really really get in there to blend but it's good because it's pointed and it can get right in the corner where uh, this little guy couldn't get I'm going to be setting my concealer with of course my Sasha buttercup setting powder and I'm going to be doing that with the beauty blender or the fake beauty blender because I usually um, set when it's wet this is kind of a new thing that I started doing I heard it, it, it works and it actually does when I use the um, 
actual beauty blender so i'm going to take a little bit of product here and set one eye and see how it comes out I'm going to be doing is contouring. I'm going to be using my Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick. This is in the shade 03 Deep. I'm going to be applying it where I want to contour and I'm going to be blending it with this little guy right here. This is the Precision Face Brush. So it's just at a slant. I'm going to be contouring my cheeks here. Cubic bow under my chin, a little bit here, and on my forehead because I have a really big forehead. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the sides of my nose. Okay, let's see how this guy blends. Again, half and half with the beauty blender, half with this. Let me just do this side. blended I think it did a good job it was a little harder than uh, using the original beauty blender I felt like I really had to pounce and drag at the same time to kind of blend it um, quickly but it did a good job so now I'm gonna be using this one again I'm not a brush person I don't really like using brushes to blend uh, liquids or creams on my face but let's see how it goes This is a side-by-side -side comparison to how it blended it. Um, I don't know, for some reason I like the finished look of the sponge better. But, you know, if, if you see me walking down the street, I doubt you can really tell a big difference. It applied the product pretty good, and I like it. So I'm going to be setting that cream contour with a powder. I'm going to be using the face powder brush and my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I think it worked good. I don't, I didn't have any problems with blending. Um, I also like that it, this brush is pretty dense and nice and compact. So it does a good job at spreading the powder. So the last face brush I'm going to be using is the blush brush. You see, that's what it is? Yeah, blush brush. And it's look at this. It's just round, nice and fluffy. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. It smells so, so good. It's not funny. I'm just going to put some of that on my cheeks and let's see how it applies. So I'm just going to quickly highlight my face. I'm going to be using the Carly Bible Palette, my favorite highlighter, which is this shade right here. This is a Coastal Sense fan brush. I'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones. I'm going to put the link of the brushes and where it was bought down below. Um, I don't know if they raised the price because Again, like I said, when I bought it, it was like a flash deal for $7.99. And I bought it, uh, I think it was a few days after Christmas. So I think maybe now, it's like $10. Even at $10, it is a steal. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. I'm not sponsored. I honestly just, my boyfriend saw the deal himself and he knows how much I love makeup. So he showed me and I was like, I definitely need this. Uh, these brushes just to try it out even if they were kind of crappy regular generic brushes for the price it is hands down the best so yeah guys let me know what you guys think let me know if you have the brushes or the pack if you bought it if you tried it out and how it worked for you guys like always i'll see you in my next video take care guys bye